And then, what a great pleasure it was uh, to meet on our program that distinguished man of letters, Sir Compton Mackenzie. Now, it gave us also the opportunity to meet Lady... I know that many of you remember her uh, reading to illustrate the happiness of a marriage or a few lines of poetry because so many of you wrote and asked about it. Now, it obviously made a tremendous impact on everyone who heard it. It was part of the prophet by Gibran. Lady Mackenzie, here in our own home, most graciously agreed to recall this charming memory for us. I'm sure you liked the row of verses that I read you. They've always been favorites of mine. I've loved them for their truth and beauty. Here they are. Put my glasses on. <clears throat> love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a movie between the shores of your souls. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone even as the strings of a lute are alone, although they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. That's all. In other words, love and let live, I think. Thank you, Lady Mackenzie.